um, some aren't. Um, Hamburg Hill reminded me of two different instances that, of combat that I was in. Um, the Fu An, um, and then that ambush for Charlie Company. Um, basically Fu An because we went day after day after day and finally, we finally killed enough of them and they left. Um, but the first time I saw a platoon, I, went to, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I went to and saw a platoon. And um, I ended up, it was at night, and I ended up walking back to the uh, car, and I ended up on my hands and knees puking in the parking lot. Um, it affected me pretty, pretty strongly. Um, you know, Eric, I don't know how many people have served in Vietnam, but out of 10, two saw combat. And out of those two, maybe point five saw the type of combat that I saw because of the nature of, um, of the fighting that, and the enemy that we did. You know, our, our battalion was, like, um, like I said, is the, um, they had the highest casualty rate in the history of the Marine Corps. World War II, Korea, all of them. High, 760 guys are killed in action out of 800 in a, in a, in a company, 800 guys in the company, 760 killed, and 45 Navy corpsmen were killed along trying to keep them alive. Um, so it, it was a, a day after day after day grind, just a meat grinder that ground everybody all up. This is, this is one, of my, one of my pieces. This is a current one. This is a, you, you, did you see the military aspect of this son of a bitch though? This is a guardian and protector. It's one of my sentinels. Sentinels are the guardians and protectors. They guard the innocent. They protect. Uh, I've known people who need sentinels to help them, to protect them. Um, so this, this, the visor, the tax, this is the mask. I'm into masks right now. I'm making all kinds of masks. But I've, I, I've made making sentinels for a long time. Um, this is the Vietnam War Club, part of a series that I'm working on. It's got, um, it's got the Vietnam Service ribbon, which is yellow, red, and green on both sides. It's got M79, uh, and it's got M16 and M14 brass on it. It's got a corporal chevron on it. That's why I was a corporal. And it's got uh, texture. It's got a little C ration can opener right here. A little C ration can opener here. But this is a, this is a metaphor for a combat veteran. And I've got a series of 12 of these going, and they're, each of them will have some sort of signification of rank. They'll be personalized, and they're going to be set in a group, and it's going to be called Group Therapy for Combat Veterans. Each club will be a metaphor for a veteran. Because of the, um, um, because of the ability to, um, to have violence that is in each person. Because I know what I'm capable of, and man, I don't want everybody, other people to know that, but everybody's a club. <laughs> Here's another one that I'm getting going. I've got a grenade on that, and the American flag will be on this, and like that. So this, so this is going to be. This is the start of one. This one's almost done, but that's a series of objects I'm doing about Vietnam. Today, you kind of touched on it a little bit, which What's is uh, your bulls. Yeah. Well. Um, Gee whiz, I got a bowl for Brian right here. But what I got to do is I got to put uh, this right here. I've been, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, making stuff, and I've and I've gotten, I've achieved some sort of uh, recognition as an artist. I never considered myself an artist, though. I've always considered myself a journeyman. I'm a wor I work, and and I like hard work, and I like what comes from hard work. Uh, I've been lucky that uh, I can make things that are pleasing to the eye. Um, if it pleases my eye, chances are it pleases other people's eye. Um, here's a mask that I'm working on now. This is, um, I don't think anybody's completely symmetrical on both sides. Anybody's face is. So my masks are different, they're, they're different on both sides. Um, 
But that's it's going to have horsehair embellishment on the other side, and it's going to have some other stuff. We got to clean it up. And, uh, I'm, it's starting to dry right now, so I got it kind of covered up. Um, but I've been, you know, I've been, I've been a journeyman. I've been lucky enough to be able to. If it pleases my eye, my, it pleases other people, and other people give me money for things that I make. What a revelation that was when I found that out. It was just amazing. I went for job. This is my war shirt. I only wear this. The only time I wear this is going is to the wall, and I take it to take it with me in a bag. And when I am at the monument, before I walk down the path to the wall, I put it on. And when I leave the wall, I take it off and put it back in the bag again. The only time I wear it is to um, wear it at the wall to honor the men at the wall. I'm not into drawing attention to myself. I'm not into making a spectacle of myself. What I want to do is honor the men that I know that are on the wall. And that's why I wear this shirt, to, to show them that I am part of them. They are part of me. Uh, the Indians, um, the Native Americans, had war shirts. They kept them hidden, except in times of battle. And they would protect the wearer. I feel the same connection to my war shirt as they felt for their war shirts. The hump. i got to read it. The hump separates the men from the boys. On the hump, you let go of your toys. The hump will make you love the dirt. The hump will create a world of hurt. The hump through sharp elephant grass, the hump through solid jungle mass. On the hump, vines pluck and pull. On the hump, the world of hurt is full. On the hump, down jungle tracks. On the hump, with loaded backs. On the hump, men fall and die. On the hump, you never see the sky. I've been on the hump my whole life long. My hump started with the Viet Cong. Jobs, women, towns, on the hump, I pass them by. On the hump, I slowly die. On the hump, the plain blocks what is real. On the hump, I cannot feel. The hump ate my life, I know that now. I went off the hump, I don't know how. I need off this hump to feel my soul. Oh God, the hump has taken its toll. On the hump, my whole life has been. Oh God, I need this hump to end. That's pretty much sums it up. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Give this, give this guy a good grade. <laughs> Here, I know where you live. <laughs>